My name is Gary Weimer. I'm 72 years old. I worked for 20 years as the general manager of a Sheraton Hotel outside of Chicago. It was very rewarding work. I met a lot of people. There was over 300 employees. It was a big operation. But I had, what makes any operation is have a good staff around you. I developed one. I was very happy uh, to meet certain people, everybody. But I, you know, the Kennedys had one of their weddings in the area. So the whole Kennedy clan, so to speak, was there. And then Jimmy Carter and his wife would stay there periodically. And I got close to them. And I still get letters from them or Christmas cards. And that was another rewarding experience. After I retired, I came back to Berkeley and obtained a PhD in psychology. And that, <laughs> that was the end of my academic career. Now, it goes on. I had a great experience. I did clinical work and all kinds of nice, rewarding things. What brought me to Sacramento was my wife. She uh, developed lung cancer in 1995. And we lived in the Berkeley area. And she thought that salt water was affecting her lungs and causing pneumonias. Anyway, she decided we should go to Sacramento, and we did. And it was a godsend. Because she was born in Japan, she got, came over to the Asian Community Center, met a lady named Virginia Wojnicki, who's now in charge of transportation. And Virginia had her become a volunteer. At that time, they had a respite program. So she was a volunteer for the respite program. And it was just wonderful for my wife's psyche. And she got to deal with people, not just sit around and think about her, you know, her cancer and things like that. I was really grateful. There was a lady named Anna Sue. She was in the uh, respite program. And my wife and her became good friends. And it was, that was good. She was very helpful to my wife. But after my wife passed away, I built what you could say is a wall around me. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to talk to anybody. And that went on for quite a while. And it became very unhealthy. Then I got the idea this isn't right, <laughs> this isn't good for me. And I, I, I contacted Virginia and told her what was going on. So Virginia and I got together again and she's been helpful, introducing me to Sue Jin, who's been helpful in finding me uh, an apartment and other things, and Linda, who's a program director. So, and back to Anna Sue, <laughs> I just laugh, because she's, she's a lot of fun too. I got involved in, senior yoga <laughs> and, and easy Tai Chi and senior workout because I have to work myself up. And you know, you get involved in those programs and that's another place where you develop a relationship with people because you're doing, you're doing something to get together for your benefit. There's a lot of empathy here and a lot of happiness. Now for me, there's still days, you know, I just moved to a new apartment, I live alone. But I will tell you, when I'm coming here, on the way here, and when I'm here, I'm a different person. <laughs> it's so fulfilling, I'm happy. You're not on an assembly line here, let's put it that way. You're people to people, <laughs> which is the best.